Welcome back to Little Bits of Lisp. This time we're talking about four functions. We're going to be looking at some, every, not any, and not every. Uh, let's jump over to this machine and have a quick look and see what the spec has to say about these guys. Um, it says that these functions uh, test elements of sequences for satisfaction of a given predicate. Now, predicate is uh, function that's going to return um, a value that is true or false. Um, remember that according to uh, Common Lisp, anything that isn't nil is considered false. Uh, this is called a generalized Boolean, and we've got a video on that um, available. If we jump over to the definition of predicate, it says a function that returns a generalized Boolean as its value. So that's where we are. Um, it's quite easy to see how these things work in practice, so let's go and do that. I'm going to compile this list, which is called a list. We've got some numbers. Notice we've got um, a bunch of integers and then a floating point number at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, are some of these numbers integers. So integer p is a function that will return true if something's an integer. Um, so let's go and look at a list. And he goes, yes, some of these are integers. Um, as an example, let's just run integer p on its own. Run it with 1. Run it with ham. And it returns nil. Run it with a float. And it also returns nil. That's not an integer. Um, there are quite a few integers already defined. So here's one that will check if something's a number. Uh, so this works for floats and for, for integers. Um, and of course, will not work with ham. Let's clear this again. Let's get our little A list. Let's actually bring up our sum that we ran a second ago. So are some of the things in A list integers? Yes. Um, is everything? that's um, in a list an integer no because we've got that float at the end um, so it's safe to say that not every um, thing in a list is an integer that's true and there are not any strings in the a list also true one thing we can say about this though is everything in the a list is a number and I think that probably explains about as well as it can what these are doing. Remember that these functions take sequences, not just lists. Um, so you could pass arrays and things in here. That's completely fine. Um, and you'll get the same true or nil based on what you've got inside that sequence. Right. I think that's a lot. Thanks for watching.